Welcome back to Scarborough Beach for the Aussies 2014. It is time for the Open Female Double Ski. Phil Clayton, let's take a look at how they will line up for this one. Starting us off, we've got the South Australian Club of Seacliff. We then move up to Queensland for Corumban, Torquay, Redhead, Northcliff and Maroochydore. Over the page, Trig Island, Northcliff, North Burley, Mullaloo, one of the local crews, Mount Monganui from New Zealand and the defending champions from Manly, Flood and Halligan. Yeah, they've got some teams here. Here's another team here from Manly. Then we move back to a local club, City of Perth, New South Wales, Coogeon Headland, Wanda, and then up to Queensland to finish it off with Noosa. So, Phil, still very flat conditions here for the start of this race. Very, very important start. With no waves on, the team that gets out first will be uh, red-hot favourites. We're on board with Flood and Halligan, defending champions. These guys are very powerful. Naomi with a background in the kayaking. We see them go straight to the lead there. Look at that. And Dev Halligan, big, strong paddler. Perfect time. Look at that. These guys are pulling away from the field as we speak there, giving themselves a lead. On the inside there, the yellow nose of that ski, I'm pretty sure that's the Noosa Surf Club with, um, with Mercer and Kelly there. Yeah, but what a start here by the crew from Manly. Just the power that these two girls have got off the beach and giving themselves uh, probably a ski length or two lead out in front of this pack. They're going to take some chasing now. They certainly will. The biggest part now here for the second teams is to try and move nice and close and get on their wash. You can see that is Noosa there with Jordan Mercer there at the front. They've got to try and move in nice and close and get on the wash and get a free ride out of the cans. Now, we know that Flood and Halligan are very strong at coming home. So these girls from Noosa, on the outside of these girls, will have to uh, make sure that they get as close as they possibly can for that run home. So Naomi Flood, a legend of the ski in female surf sports. But right on their hammer at the moment is the crew from Noosa Heads, Jordan Mercer and Charlene Kelly. Phil, it's a good performance by them in this early part of the race. It certainly is. I, I haven't seen Jordy in too many double ski races, so uh, great to see her up the front here. This is an Australian final, so, you know, it's anyone's race. It is only early, but these two girls out in front as they turn the can are very strong. As we see the pack at the back bunching up there, like we do every race. That's the second team from Manly coming through there. We've got Corumban, Mullaloo. She's a clash of paddles there, oh, trying to smile. get their paddle in the water. And a bit of a laugh and a smile. We like that in the races. It's not usual with the guys. So let's see the uh, form of this Manly crew as they head to the beach, just picking up that rating again. Let's see if the Noosa head girls of Mercer and Kelly can stick with them. I think that gap there was, was pulled apart due to the fact that those, that back crew was all bunched up at the cans. Flood and Halligan pulled away with the Mercer and uh, Kelly there. Also got a nice smooth run, but about five or six teams got stuck on that first can. So that's given them a chance to get some nice clean water and a nice great run home. On board with Naomi Flood, Dev Halligan out in front. Look at the speed and the power getting through the arms there. As they're heading back towards the beach. Is she smiling? Is she having a great time or what? I think she's got a grin there as she's paddling back. That must be the way she's just paddling. I think she, she, I think she loves it. Naomi Flood absolutely loves it. Why wouldn't she be? One of the most successful ski paddlers in, uh, in Australian surf sports. And she's got herself over a, boat, or over a ski length at the moment in front of the Noosa Head crew. And hoping if she can take home another gold medal. They don't have it all their own way here. You can see those girls from Noosa have taken a different line. They're going to cut back, which is south over here in the west. They're going to cut back south as we look at Floody and, uh, and Dev just pulling over a great little runner. Not, many, not too many runners on offer here, and they've just pulled over a nice run. Look at that. They've split the field now. Yeah, they certainly have. They're putting the power on as they head to the beach. 
Naomi Flood just takes it to look over the shoulder. Look at the smile on her face now. She knows she's got it. A big smile as well for Dev Halligan. They will cruise into the beach. And the manly crew of Naomi Flood and Dev Halligan are our double ski champions in 2014. Let's look at this race for second there. Noosa just in front of the manly crew and they've got it. Jordan Mercer and also Charlene Kelly. They have finished for second and what a performance by them. Oh, we can see the excitement. I explained before, she's not a, uh, a double ski expert. She's pumped. Those two girls are very happy with their silver medal. Fantastic and congratulations. Yeah, they should be very happy and no shame for coming second behind that champion crew from Manly. Outstanding performance there by the Noosa crew coming in in second. And in fact, it was Manly picking up a third as well. Let's take a look at the final standings. Flood and Halligan from Manly, Kelly and Mercer from Noosa Heads, and Bryant and Kasulki, the second Manly crew, they pick up the bronze medal in the double ski final. She's an absolute machine on the front, so I just had to get behind and just follow, and we came out with the wind, which is awesome. Flood, you always try to get a, a good start off the beach. You did exactly that again today. Yeah, that's definitely crucial, in the, especially in these conditions. You can't muck around, and uh, I know I've got the big, strong girl behind me pushing me around, so it's, it's good confidence, and to come away with a win in these conditions, it's really tough out there, so we're stoked that Manly's on top. Well, that was the women. Phil, now time for the men to get in for the open double skis, and we'll see some power off the beach here. But let's take a look at how they will line up firstly. We've got Avoca Beach, Northcliffe, Stewart and Smith, Manly, Newport, Mooloolaba and Avoca Beach. Over the page, another crew from Northcliffe, Swansea, Belmont from Newcastle, North Burley, Trig Island, Burnie, and also Tugan from the sunny Gold Coast. We go over the page now, and we see the team of Scott and Stowe from Redhead, Lockie Tame, and uh, Gordon Jones from Avoca, Burley Heads, Mowbray Park, and Newport rounding it out. Well, Phil Clayton, what we're looking for here is the absolute power from these ski paddlers off the beach. Yeah, these guys are a lot bigger than the girls in the shoulders. They pull a lot of water with the, the strength they've got. We're going to see some very explosive starts here. Now, that's very tight. That's, no one's really pulled away there. You could throw a blanket across that field. Take a look at those paddles going. We're on board here with Peter Scott and Mark Stowe from Redhead. Peter Scott, a champion in the, uh, the ski paddling for many, many years now, and Mark Stowe on board with him as well. We can see the... Olympic team there of Murray Stewart and Tate Smith and on the outside of that, Peter Mitchell and Ben Hamilton from Avoca. Great start to the race. Yeah, certainly it was a great start. We can see across the field there. Still not a great deal in this one, Phil. Quite bunched up and no one really dominating this race in the early stages. It looked like the, the ski of Trig Island there, which was uh, Brendan Sarson there, I think it was. And now we're back on board here with the crew from... Yeah, that's the crew from Redhead, Mark Stowe. Sitting in the front seat there behind him, Peter Scott. As they come up to the cans, we're going to get a better view on the field here. That's the yellow and brown hat there of Newport, which is Trim and Jones. As we see Trig Island, Northcliffe, Nor oh, that was Malulabar, Avoca, Manly. Oh, Karuman caught on the can there with North Bondi. Very tight as they go around and Redhead on the inside on the yellow and blue ski. Yeah, what about that chaos at the cans? We've seen it plenty of times, plenty of craft trying to get around and uh, not a lot of give there. There isn't and uh, when you paddle a double ski the, the best line is the inside or the outside. If you're stuck in the middle you're going to clash your paddles. We can see that orange carrot ski there of the Avoca boys which is uh, Lockie Tame and Gordon Jones there. They've had a beautiful run on the inside so they were back in about fifth or sixth. They've run straight up the inside past everyone. They're now in about third or fourth. We've still got the the team in Newport out in front, but here comes Lockie Tame. Look at this, he's pushed over a runner. It's a huge runner. What about the power of Lockie Tame on the front of the double ski? Gordon Jones behind him as well. As you said, they weren't great in the first half of this race, but what about the turn as they head for home? They've just pushed over a runner, which has pushed them on the inside, which means that they can angle it straight back. Now, Lockie Tame's won the open ski four times. The bloke sitting on the back there, Gordo, has never won an open medal. So if he can get across the line here, this is going to be outstanding for him to win an Australian gold medal. Yeah, it certainly is. Of Oka Beach, Northcliffe, Trig Island, Malula Bar as well. They're going to battle it out for the places. Here comes Tayton and Murray Stewart, the Olympic pair. They're starting to power up. They're winding up their, their paddles. They're showing their class as well, well and truly. But here is our Avoca crew out in front. Lockie Tame piloting this one with Gordon Jones on the back. Lockie Tame, a young superstar. Gordon Jones, one of the veterans of the sport. 
and here they come, still being challenged by the Northcliffe crew, but it is Evoca. They will hang on to be the Australian double ski champions. What about the response there by Lockie Tame and Gordon Jones realising a dream of taking home an Aussie gold medal? We've got a bit of carnage there at the background. Everyone's still fighting out for the minor places there. I think it might have been Murray Stewart coming across there. We're looking at Stone and Scott there from Redhead. We'll wait and see what the finals are, but great emotion there. Yeah, big hugs all around. The young bull and the old veteran combined. Tame and Jones, they are our gold medalists from Avoca Beach. Smith and Stewart from Northcliffe, they will pick up the silver. And Holmes and Humble, the crew from Trig Island, they are our bronze medalists. Oh, no, I'm totally pumped. It's uh, been a long time coming, you know. I've worked really hard over the years. Um, but, you know, Lockie's come up through and I'm 38 years of age, he's 25 and he's pushed me through. I'm just happy to be on the back of this bike. Tell us about the tussle around the cans. Uh, plenty of skis went round in unison there. It uh, looked like it was pretty heavy out there. Yeah, it's pretty heavy going. We expect that in a double ski final and any double ski race, there's going to be paddles and skis in your chest and you just got to cop it and keep on going, keep your composure and luckily we did. Well, Lockie, you got yourself out in front uh, as you turned the cans there. A couple of boys from Northcliffe were breathing down your neck. Did you, did you know where they were? I don't know that close because I can hear the comments you're saying Tate Smith, Murray Stewart, and I was just like, holy hell, hang on. <laughs> hang on, like, like they're bloody good paddlers, they're obviously Olympic medalists, they're not gonna die over that race. So we had to just keep pulling the stick as hard as we could and we got there in the end.